everyone, in this video I explain vertical motion under gravity. Let us restart. Let us we see this example. A sandbag is dropped from height of 150 meters. So this is the height. Okay. This is the ground. So it's dropped from this point. So this is 150 meters. This is the height. It is dropped from this height, from a hot air balloon that is moving upward with velocity of 5 meters per second. Ignore air resistance. What will happen when that sandbag dropped? Actually, the initial velocity it will be not equal to zero. It takes the same velocity of the hot air balloon. So starting to move upward with 5 meter per second and then the velocity decreases gradually from 5 to 4 to 3 to 1 to 0 and then stop and then return back to the ground. So this is the motion of the sandbag. From this point it moves up and then at the maximum height it will be returned back. Then we have three, then we have two stages of motion. So the initial velocity here, he says what is the initial velocity? The initial velocity, it's u equals five meter per second upward. So this is the initial velocity. And this point is the maximum height. So this is the starting point, Let this is denoted by O, and this is the maximum point, and then the ground is the point B. So we have two stages, from O, from start to maximum, and then from maximum to ground. So the answer of the first part, the answer of the first part, what is the initial velocity of the sandbag? It's a 5 meter per second upwards. We said, how long will the back take to reach the ground? We have two times. The time from the start to maximum and the time from maximum to ground. This part is a part of vectors. The initial velocity and the final velocity, all of these are vectors. So we need to get the direction. We take the direction of the starting motion as positive. So we take this direction as positive. It moves upward. So the acceleration due to gravity, it will be negative. Now, in part B, in part B, we have two intervals. First, from, from O to A from a start point to maximum height. What do we have? What are the given that we have here? We have the initial velocity, u equals 5 meter per second. This is moved upward. So the acceleration due gravity is negative. So g, the acceleration due gravity, it's negative, negative 9.81 meter per second squared. At the maximum height, the velocity, it will be zero. So the final velocity in this interval equals zero. What do we need? We need the time. Which formula we use it for this one? We use this formula. V equals U plus GT. V equals zero. U equals five plus negative 9.81 multiplied. From this we can get t. Move 5 to the other side, it will be negative. Cancel negative with negative. So t equals 5 divided by 9.81. The answer is 0.51 second. Let this is t1. So t1, the time of moving to maximum height is 0.51. What about the second stage? 
from maximum to ground. We have the initial velocity. The initial velocity at A will be an instantaneous rest. The initial velocity is zero. Also, we have the acceleration due gravity. When it's dropped down, its acceleration is positive, 9.81. That's all. We don't have any other given. So we need from this part to get the displacement. This displacement, it is from O to A. So we need this value. We calculate in this interval from O to A. We calculate the displacement. So in this interval, we need to calculate also the displacement. We have U, G, and V. Which formula give us the displacement? This formula. V squared equals U squared plus 2GS. V equals 0. We talk about from 0 to A. The first interval from start to maximum. So the initial velocity, the final velocity is 0 squared equals 5 squared plus 2 times negative 9.81s. From this we can calculate s. 5 squared 25. To the other side it will be negative 25. Cancel negative with negative. So s equals 25 over 2 times 9.81. 1.27 Now we can go to the second stage from maximum height to the ground Okay, from maximum height to the ground. So this is the second stage from okay, this is the second stage from A to B this is maximum height and this is the ground. Okay, what do we have? What are the givens now? The given is that the initial velocity will be zero. Also the acceleration to gravity, it goes down. So it's positive. So G equals a positive 9.81 meter per second squared. Also we have the displacement. Now the displacement is 150 in this part, it's 150 meter, plus also this part, it was 1.27 meter. So the total dis dis displacement, so the total displacement now, S equals 150 plus 1.27. So it is 151.27 meter. What do we need from this interval? We need the time. So which formula we use it to get the time? We have U, G, and S. We use this formula. S equals U, T plus half G, T squared. S is replaced by 151.27. U is zero, so all of this part is zero. Plus half multiply. G is 9.81 multiply T squared. From this, we can calculate t squared. So, we divide 151.27 divided by this value half times 9.81. So, we can get t squared from this. t squared, it becomes 30.8. We take the square root. So, just the t in this the square root of 30.8. So, square root of the answer. Okay. It's 5. 0.55. This is T2, 5.55 seconds. What is the total time now? It's T1 plus T2. He said, how long will the back take to reach the ground? So the total time, so the total time is T. T equals T1 plus T2. T1, it is 0. Point. 51 plus 5.55. The answer is 6.1 seconds. So this is the total time. Also, we need to get the final velocity before to hit the ground. We need this given. So how can we get the velocity? Uh, we have U, G, and S. So we use this formula to get the answer of part C. 
To get the answer of part C, we use this formula, V squared equals U squared plus 2GS. V squared, we need it. U equals 0, plus 2 times 9.81, and the S, it's 151.27. One, one, one From this, we can calculate V squared. So the answer is 2967.9. Take a square root of the answer. 54.5 meter per second. So this is the velocity before to hit the ground. I hope you understand this part. Thank you.